Thanks for watching another quick tip video from Go Engineer. My name is Bruce Schaller and this video is on using envelopes inside of SolidWorks assemblies. Envelopes were one of the first commands put in SolidWorks to allow you to quickly create configurations to make your large assemblies go faster. It's also from 2013 on enables you to benefit from using envelope mode inside of the drawing package. So I'll show you how both those functionalities work. Let's first start off with what you have to do in order to put a part into envelope mode. I've got a part that I've made top down inside of this assembly where I've tied it into some of the carriage geometry. So if the carriage geometry grows, it will grow with it. This part has or is surrounding a lot of the geometry that I want to suppress because I don't need this so I'm gonna make a configuration with all that stuff turned off so in order to do that I'm gonna go leverage my part that I want to use as an envelope so I've just made a part that's a black box as I call it and in order to use this as an envelope you have to go in and right click on it and go to the component properties command under there you have to set it as an envelope putting it in envelope mode it will go in and change the coloring of the envelope to semi-transparent it also will put a little envelope on your icon over in your feature tree it makes it semi-transparent because under the options and under color you have envelope options set to semi-transparent you have opaque and do not change or the other options. Semi-transparent's default, so if I see a part that looks like this, I know it's a part that's an envelope part. Now this is what you have to do in order to utilize the envelope part. When you right click on the part, you'll see the dynamic envelope command come up because it is an envelope. First I'll cover the show and hide using envelopes. If I click on this, I have some criteria to choose from. Everything inside the envelope will be chosen, and if I put it on hide, will be hidden. Or everything outside the envelope. Or I could do any combination thereof. I can do crossing through the envelope and inside the envelope. I can treat a coincidence as crossing. Notice if I'm hiding a part and the component doesn't meet that criteria it will show it or I can tell it to leave it as is and here I'm gonna cancel out of hiding and showing because I like using envelopes to quickly create configurations to make things go quicker so I like using it for an advanced select so I can suppress a bunch of components so in order to do that again you right click on the envelope part and you go in and you use the select using envelope. So if I did that and told it I only want the things selected inside the envelope, I can go in, you can see there's some other options. I can treat coincident as crossing here, and I can say select components in the top level assembly only. I want everything in my assembly that's inside this envelope. So I'm gonna leave that checked and select OK here you're going to notice that what SolidWorks is doing is it's going up and down my feature tree selecting all those components in my envelope regardless of where they were in my tree if I did this manually I could be here for 10 15 20 minutes going in and selecting all these different parts up and down this tree that it just went through and selected so that's the main thing you can use envelopes for. I can right click now and say suppress all that stuff and I could go in there and quickly create a configuration now where all my components in that one area have been suppressed. So really easy for me to do that going in adding a configuration and just saying this is my one without guts so you can see just using the envelope mode for quickly creating configurations or hiding and showing components is one of the main benefits to use the envelope mode for but it has some additional benefits as well 
as you could see if I'm designing this track setter I'm just staging it on this track and as I do that this really isn't the real center of mass of my machine design so if I really wanted to look at the center of mass in this machine design I could go in and I could set this whole track as an envelope and by doing that it's going to ignore the track on the center of mass so if I control Q and update my model or regenerate my model you see my center of mass moving over to the center of the machine so it'll update the center of mass based on the track being gone let's look out let's look at what else we can benefit from from this being in an envelope mode I'm gonna go in and open up the drawing for this and you're gonna see when it first opens it opens with the track and the track inside the assembly in the bomb what I want to do is I want to go leverage the envelope mode so if I came into properties in here and told it show that in envelope mode what it's going to do is it's going to take the track out of my bill of materials and it's going to show the track in a phantom line weight mode. That phantom line weight mode is just that. It's using the phantom line weight inside your drawing package. So if you wanted to change the line style on the phantom, you could go in and change the numbering in here and you would see the line style change for whatever you have in envelope mode for being in phantom line but that's the two advantages of using envelope mode one is to quickly start creating configurations or hiding and showing things to speed things up in large assemblies and two is by having things ignored in the bill of materials automatically and also shown in the drawing but in a phantom line state so that's the envelope mode inside a SolidWorks assembly package. Thanks for watching another quick tip video from Go Engineer.